What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here. So in this video, I wanna talk about some pretty significant changes to Chameleon that really aren't getting talked about as much as they should be. So about a week ago, we got this really big patch, great for the game, and Chameleon got this long list of changes. Now I've watched a ton of videos on this and you know, they talk about, yeah, more vulnerable frames here, more vulnerable frames there, but the general consensus is she's still Chameleon doing the same quote-unquote maniac Chameleon shenanigans, which for the most part is true. They didn't really stop her from doing any of those things. But what they did do was add some significant drawback to her doing those things when they don't work out and or just significant drawback in general to doing those things. And that is what I feel like is kind of going under the radar here. Uh, so for example... Uh, just to start with something easy that is very self-explanatory, Fanlift will no longer interact with a player who is in hit reaction. Well, this is pretty easy to show. So before this patch, let's just say you jump into an ice clone here. Well, Fanlift is going to break you out of the freeze and you are just free to go. And this was the case whether you're airborne or grounded. If you happen to call Fanlift right before you got hit, you would immediately be broken out of the combo state and airborne and it would act as a combo breaker. No more combo breakers for Chameleon. The next thing I want to talk about is massive, but it's actually not listed in the patch notes here. And I went back and I read the patch notes from some of the previous patches just a couple of months back, and I didn't see these in there, so maybe I didn't go back far enough. But I, I'd never heard this really talked about, and I've watched tournaments and I've never seen anybody do this. So maybe it went unnoticed, or maybe it was a nerf in this patch and it's just out of the patch notes. It wouldn't be the first time that happened. And I'm not trying to throw shade at Netherrealm here. I'm just saying, no, really, it wouldn't be the first time that happened. So the like so the biggest defender of this, according to the community, would be maybe Sub-Zero. Slide into fa air fan. And if you don't pay attention or you go to punish, you don't notice he's in Katana, and you go to punish, goes over your head, and of course, you know, then you're gonna die. Well, it's Sub-Zero, so you wouldn't die, but you'd be punished. Very irritating, makes it pseudo safe, full screen move on block and combo on hit. But they, I, they made it so sh you are not as invulnerable. Like your invulnerable frames don't last as long. So you get jabbed right out of the air now in ways that you wouldn't before, or, or unless I, well, I just never saw anybody do this before. And I feel like if this were known or talked about or in a patch note, this would be done because this is really irritating to people. So I'm gonna turn button log on, on here. So, so you can see that I'm doing this as fast as you can, pop the uh, slide into the lift as fast as you can do it. It's so fast that even if I do uh, jab into down back one, which should be ice clone, it comes out as ice ball. And if I do jab into down forward one, it comes out as ice clone. I usually keep button log off because it stops the screen clutter. But I just wanted to show you that I do it so fast that before I can even move, he's already on the other side of me and the game considers me the other direction. But this isn't a good idea to punish as a Sub-Zero player because obviously if they're even a, a hair off and you try to reverse your inputs, then I don't come out reverse and you then you get the right command, which would be ice ball instead of clone and vice versa. But what I noticed I could do is just quick jab into this and just, I'll just keep it basic here. Quick combo here. So what this means is many characters, if not, if you lab it, most, if not all, would have some type of OS that you can do, whether the opponent stays grounded or go airborne, to where a single attack into cameo for a launcher or special, whatever it may be, will hit whether you remain grounded or go airborne, which would mean that the days of a full screen move or whatever move into fan lift being pseudo safe, or you have to be proactive, like you go to jump back, like, you know, if you go to do this, but then they don't do it and they do a slide and then you just jump back and nothing happens. Well, those days are gone. From now on, you can block something like, some, like slide or whatever other type of move is being used and have some type of OS punish that will always punish the character. So what that means is there should never ever be a scenario for most characters, as long as everybody has to kind of lab all the scenarios 
as far as like your character and whatever move that you're you're blocking that's going to fan left but it looks like those are never escapable again i'm sure there's some os that will always combo whether you're grounded or not and no more full screen move into fan lift safety those days appear to be over the next two things i want to talk about are not really very important uh, so fan toss has 45 more frames of uh, vulnerability. That just means it's on the screen for 45 more frames. And uh, fan lift has 29 more. The reason these are not a big deal is one, no one uses the fan toss much. And as you see here, you're already over my head right away. And I'm going to auto face. So Katana's behind me. So without some type of rare situation that is not really common or really you know, planned out, you're not really going to be able to hit her. That's not really a, a big deal. But the next patch notes are a massive deal. Now, I want you to read the second line and then the line third from the bottom. Because they, they work in conjunction. Second line says, this is a massive one, by the way. If Chameleon is hit before Glaive returns, it will no longer return regardless of if the main fighter is blocking. And then the third from the bottom note says Glaive has nine more frames of vulnerability to attacks. What this means is that now Jade is on the screen just long enough to be hit in most instances. You know, and I'll go over what I'm talking about here. And when she is hit, Glaive will never return. So let's just take Jade here and kind of go over an example here. So we've got Jade doing this. Now I'm sure we've all been in situations where we're at, we're at range and we want to do a projectile and we do it the wrong time and then bad news. Uh, so let me try to do an example here. Let's see if I can get it late. I'm trying to time it late. Now a lot of times, a little late, a little early I mean. Now this right here, before this patch, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, she's not going to be on the screen long enough. She's not going to be considered hit. I, and uh, the glaive is going to come back and I'm going to die. And uh, many, many characters have had these situations where they're playing from certain ranges and they go to do something at a specific time. I'm trying to get it a little late. I don't want to do it early, so I'm just trying to do it like a match. Like things like this, she would not have stayed on screen as long. And she would not be hit, and the Glaive would come back, and Combo City. It made it very difficult to do anything at this range. You didn't even want to try to challenge because you're just going to get hit. And this is not... The, maybe let's see if I can try like a, something like this. No, okay, it's just going to trade off. It's projectile immune. But what I'm trying to say here is that many, many characters were didn't want to challenge at all in this range. You just didn't feel like you could move because Glaive was going to come out. Surely it was going to hit you. It was going to come back and you were going to get combo. Now, there are many situations where as long as you're with reasonable timing on whatever it is you're doing, you, will, you won't really have an issue with making sure that you're somewhat protected. So it may hit you going, but it won't come back. And because she's on the screen for longer... And because it's never going to come back when she's hit. And as long as you're within reason of your timing, as opposed to having to be a Jedi, you, you don't have to worry about like, oh my gosh, now I'm full comboed for this. That's just made it so difficult to deal with Jade at these ranges, which is why people always got in for free, because you never even wanted to try to challenge. Now some of these faster cameos, like a Kung Lao or things like this, fast projectiles, possibly even a Sonya, uh, a lot of times you can use things like that and challenge Jade and you don't have to worry about, uh, well, I, I, I can't put anything out there. Otherwise, I'm going to get hit by the Jade Glaive. A pretty big change in my opinion. So the next two, oh, the, well, Glow. So Glow has 44 more frames. This is not a big deal to me because it's it's got 44 more frames of vulnerability to only basically physical attacks, non-projectile. So if it's considered a projectile, she's not vulnerable to it during that time period. However, uh, the odds of you being close enough when you do this for a non-projectile attack to hit, this is not really a big deal. It's not really going to come into play that often, if at all. But the next two 
Uh, the side toss has 31 more frames of vulnerability to attacks and roll has 18 more frames. So on a hit or miss, these two are on the screen for 31 more frames and 18 more frames respectively. Here is what that means. Now this is a very, very big deal. So let's go all block. So let's go to Melina. So it, a character like Sub-Zero are one of, a, as a character that really does this a lot. So, you know, whether it's like EX Slide into uh, EX Slide into this, look how long she's gonna be on the screen for now, right? That's just, she's on the screen for so much longer. So a lot of times, if you try something like a uh, move like EX Slide, that's gonna go to her air side and they block it, not only are you going to be punished, but Molina will definitely be hit and you're not gonna break. The damage is gonna be completely guaranteed. The same thing for, you know, her mix, things like this. So we know people like to do like say Sub-Zero, down one slide, the Maniac, down one slide, down one Molina overhead, don't chat. And a lot of people will do this like in Combat League, down one Molina overhead, don't press. They do this quite a lot. Um, let's go ahead and make sure I have breaker mode on here. Okay, so what I wanna show you is I've got breaker mode on. So they're gonna break the very first possible chance. So let's say they do, whether it's EX slide into air side or something like, we know, like back three into to roll or just roll by itself or any of that mixed up game they try to do here. So let's take a look. Let's just do back three roll, for example, right? So we'll do a uh, back three roll. So it's not reverse, right? All right. And I have it set to breaker. Now Sub Zero's combo is taken, and I finally broke at thirty percent gone. If I were to do something faster, just a little slow. Oh, and then stand three in a slide would do thirty four, and you wouldn't be able to break it all. Or you could do a combo in a fatal blow. Now, Sub-Zero's combos take some time, right? Because you got the hit into Deadly Vapors, then the back two, back two, and then stuff in the clone. But there are certain characters that their combos are much faster and far more damaging. And cameos like Goro, if you do this on Goro, EX Slide into uh, Air Side, or anything into Roll, like a character like Sub-Zero who does these things up close because it's part of his mix game, Let's say they have Goro, you're going to lose 50% before you can even break. Uh, for many characters, you'll lose around 40 before you can even break. Or their whole combo, 34, 35, 40, before you have the option to break. This is massive because normally you didn't have this type of consequence. He just wasn't on the screen long enough to make sure you always tagged her. Now, whenever you try some dumb move into air sigh, not only will you be punished if it's unsafe, you will not be able to break. The combo is pretty much guaranteed. Anything you do into any type of mix or, you know, up close, obviously, or overhead, like just, just point blank overhead or down one overhead with Melina, you're going to get full combo punished and you will not be able to break. The combo is guaranteed. This is huge. For all those who thought, for example, Sub-Zero Chameleon was still his best cameo, not even close, not even close. Now, when, you're, when you make, not only are you not gonna get off the screen with uh, slide into air fan uh, or you know, the, the fan lift, if you try your like, oh, EX slide into, into fan toss, I mean, in, into a, a side toss. Well, the problem is not only are you gonna get punished, you always got punished. Now you're never gonna break. And if you try to mix and you're wrong, you will never break. GG's, full combo, I don't care how much bar you have, do not pass go, do not collect $100, $200, do not break. That's a huge change for so many characters that use things like that. It's a huge drawback to Chameleon that was never there before. And the change, the change to Glaive, the, 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 I guess the change to not being able to get off the screen anymore with the fan lift, uh, you know, unsafe move in the fan lift, and especially 
the changes to Molina, those are massive. This now turns into guaranteed damage. I think this might be the only cameo where when you're wrong and unsafe, you will 1000% not know what a breaker looks like anymore. So for sure, the days of Sub-Zero Chameleon, once all this stuff gets labbed, there is no way this is his best cameo. Hell no. And the only reason why stuff like this is still like considered good with Sub-Zero or another character that abuses these types of things and doesn't deal with the downside is because this is the Mortal Kombat community, for the most part, filled with some of the dumbest people who don't lab anything, who don't pay attention to detail. Big difference between the Mortal Kombat community and every other one. And, but yeah, th these changes are massive to me. Chameleon, still a good cameo, very strong, but no longer good pairing with some of the characters. Still a great pairing with some of the other ones. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more content.